Hi ladies, it's Eva here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me and giving the girls what the girls want, what you have been asking for for the longest. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I went from this to this, <laughs> then keep on watching. So you ladies are seeing me close up and personal right now <laughs> and we're going to do a get ready with me. I'm literally doing a really, really quick routine this is more or less my day-to-day -day when i just need to leave the house quick fast and in a hurry but i still want to look like a woman <laughs> not like this okay so that's what i'm going to be showing you today and really it's a good evening get ready with me because i'm just doing my makeup to record a video for you guys so let's get into this um, oh, first of all, everything that I use will be linked in the description box in chronological order. That way I don't have to worry about saying every single product every time I pick something up. So let's get some makeup on my face and get my brows done first. So I'm using my Kat Von D70 brush. This is as old as time. The end is off and who cares? Okay, it still does the job. And I'm using the Kat Von D Brow Gel in the shade of Walnut. It's a really, really dark brown, but I feel like it looks like, like a black, but it's really a dark brown. So that's what I'm using on my brows. And I've been using this for years. So you guys have been asking me to do an actual get ready with me tutorial for a long time and I am not calling this a tutorial let's be very clear because I am not a makeup expert and I do not claim to be one have any of you guys already started Christmas shopping let me know I have not done well no I've I so far I have two things I have one thing each for my sisters so that's all i've got so far but i still have a few things to get and this year we're actually doing something a bit different so it was my older sister's idea um what we're going to be doing is something called christmas experiences so we're all like paying for the four of us so me my mom and my other two sisters to do like an experience that the other one has paid for and it's kind of exciting just in case something possesses them to watch this one <laughs> video of mine even though they don't watch my videos I don't want to say what I'm paying for um, but it's really fun and I'm sure they will all like it I'm excited about it I think it's in Shoreditch yeah, the thing that I um that I've booked is in Shoreditch and it should be really fun. If you guys don't know Shoreditch, it's just somewhere that's super super quirky and you know there's loads of bars there and I mean there are restaurants around in Shoreditch. I'm not too sure really what ones because I don't really eat around there but there are lots of bars and I was actually in a bar last week in Shoreditch. I did put it up on my Instagram. I think it was called Simmons. Simmons Bar. That's where I was last week. Literally right near Liverpool Street Station. And that was kind of cool. Oh my gosh. So when we were in this bar, so I was in there with um, a new friend that I've kind of made I mean I don't know if I really call her a friend but you know like someone new that I'm I'm getting to know or like Carrie says I'm trying on <laughs> and we went to a bar we actually met at wine tasting and we've kind of been doing things here and there together so we went to this bar to have a drink and <laughs> we were literally talking about the kinds of men that we're interested in, right? And just as we say that and we start listing, you know, the things that we like in guys and the qualities that we're interested in, the complete <laughs> opposite started giving us the boggly eyes 
and we were nervous because we were thinking please do not let these guys come over to us please do not let them um have the cojones to actually do that and oh god <laughs> of course they did of course they did and it was so awkward um so the okay so the guys that came over to us there were two of them and there were two of us so one of them was really watching me and i think he was interested in me and he was like he was kind of cute actually he was like filipino or something and the other one was a black guy and i think that he definitely liked my friend my eyebrows aren't perfect but we're gonna deal we're gonna deal um oh and first of all don't be nervous you're going to see me using my fingers to apply my foundation and concealer I do have these new sponges from Morphe but I'm not going to use them because I've noticed that when I use my fingers it makes my my pores are really quite large and it makes them not be as prominent when I oops when I apply my makeup using my fingers so that's what I'm going to be doing um but first of all I'm going to put some lashes on so let's do that let me get my glue ready and everything and i like to use this lash glue it's the super drug brand and it's just a black lash glue that's what i like to use because i like to use a black one and that's the one i've been using for years and that's the one i like to use honey so that's the one i use so these guys actually came over to our table and I noticed, first of all, when it was my turn to buy, like, our, our round of drinks, our cocktails, I went to the bar and all I could feel was eyes on me. So I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? When I turned around to go back to our table, the Filipino guy was, like, seriously, seriously looking at me. So I'm thinking, okay, he's seriously about to, like come up to me or say something and at that time he didn't do anything so I went back over to the table and we were having a giggle and I told her look one of those guys is literally staring and we looked back and they were both looking over and we were giggling we were actually laughing because it was hilarious you know you know sometimes things are just funnier than other times and this was just so funny so long story short anyway the guys came over to our table after walking past it looking at us and just acting really ridiculous they finally plucked up the courage and they came over and it was awkward.com <laughs> um so basically me and my friend we said hello to them and then there was some like um, people dancing and everything and we were just looking over at the dancers and talking about that to each other. So basically we weren't even actually speaking to these guys and they were standing at our table when we were having our own conversation for at least five minutes. It was so awkward and then they finally left. It was really uncomfortable and... Um, the reason why we kind of did that so we said hello and then it kind of went quiet so we started having our own conversation and luckily i mean the guys left after that but who approaches women and then when you get over to their table you don't want to say anything <laughs> hello that's not how it works although i am pleased that that happened so that we could style it out and get them to go elsewhere but besides but besides that i mean i would say that me and this this woman um we have similar taste in guys and it's i met her organically so i met her at a wine tasting lots of you girls actually say that you want to meet like-minded women and i have obviously done that but unintentionally i didn't try to make any friends or anything and as you guys know i'm the type of person who just 
I don't care about all of that to be honest. I would probably rather just just not to be honest. I'm more of a lone wolf. I like to do things by myself. Like are any of you guys like this? Let's say you want to go shopping. You don't feel the need to phone up your friend and say, hey, I want to go shopping. Are you coming? When you're about to buy something, you need to ask for their opinion, their approval and everything before you spend your own money. I'm just not that person. So I don't need anybody with me if I'm like shopping or anything. I don't know. Or if I'm doing anything. But let me know if I'm the only person or if you guys are like that too. I hope that this mirror is not annoying you. I know some people it will probably be winding them up, but sorry, I need to see what I'm doing. And you're probably thinking there's no eyeshadow. No, there is not. This is how to get ready in a hurry. <laughs> there's no eyeshadow. And I've had quite a few questions asking how to apply lashes. You just have to practice to be completely honest with you. Um, one thing with lashes is that you want to make sure once you've applied the glue that it's as tacky as possible because that will stop it from slipping and sliding and from you making a mess of the glue. But even if you do do that, because it's glue, you can just peel it off once it's fully dried. Which is why you can't really go wrong with applying your lashes anyway, to be honest. And you just try to get it as close to your lash line as possible. And that's it, really. That's the trick. But it comes with practice. You guys will notice I've been doing lots of um, like ponytails recently because... This for me is an amazing protective style. I'm able to protect my ends and really have my hair in a bun and still have some length and have a look that I, you know, kind of like. I mean, right now, I mean, I didn't do it properly. I mean, look at my edges and stuff just for this video, but I like doing the ponytails right now. So I do the ponytails, I do the wigs because I'm trying to keep my natural hair as healthy as possible so I'm going to apply the second lash <laughs> up there I think okay so now I have my lashes on <laughs> and I think these lashes I'll show you what they are I think it's I think it's one of these but from an older pack so I just bought these on um, Ali, Ali Crown, okay so that's the company name, Ali Crown. I bought these on Amazon a while ago and I think I had a couple of boxes. I think this is the last pair from one of those boxes. So for foundation I'm using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This has SPF 10 in it and I'm in Toasty toffee but this is not my correct shade when I wear this it's it looks fine at first and then obviously when it oxidizes it's too dark and it kind of doesn't make sense so that's why I like to use quite a lot of NARS my concealer which is in ginger this is a medium too and by the time this looks very light but by the time it has oxidized it's really the it's a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone just a tiny bit at first it will look like full-on concealer but once it has oxidized and after about 20 minutes or so then it actually is about a shade lighter than my skin tone so or maybe two maximum so that's what I use and quite a considerable amount so don't be nervous when you see what I'm about to do so girl let's get into this <laughs> this is literally how I apply it right now I'm going to be using my hands so I really don't use a lot of foundation at all because 
I use quite a lot of concealer so let's get this on and I'm different colors in different places so I feel like over here it blends quite well but the majority of my face it's just way too dark for for it um, so it's a better match for my forehead which is a lot darker than the rest of my face so um, I'm going to have to get a new foundation because it's annoying having your foundation make you look different you know if you have any foundation recommendations for you for me <laughs> for me then I would really appreciate those now concealer I don't have that much left and I like to make sure that I am going underneath my eyes and keeping it on the areas that actually do get hit by the light that's what I like to focus on girl that's my sign <laughs> I need a new concealer <laughs> I'm just trying to make it fun for you guys having some pictures on my face um, but really I just squiggle, I really don't care. Okay, so this is concealer round one. And we're just going to kind of blend that out a little bit. Just blend, blend, blend. Between my brows. And this is all I do, I mean, I'm just, just blending, so. So I'm going to come back when all of this is blended and just to save some time with this video. Now I've blended out concealer round one, we're going to be blending out concealer round two. So let's apply this, which is going to be a little bit less than the first, the first time. Once you've let your concealer oxidize, it just is not as bright and potent. And I like to have a really bright eye, but it just makes a huge difference having two lots of concealer instead of just one. Now I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be straight back. So now we are going to put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes I'm going to set that using my Pat McGrath I have been super obsessed with it cosmetics bye bye pores but now I'm using that solely as a finishing powder so it's a completely white powder this is how it looks but I'm going to be using that as my finishing powder and to actually set my under eyes and the places that we just concealed the reuse concealer i'm going to use my pat mcgrath and this is in the light medium two color which i'll be completely honest with you i do not love because i feel like it's way too it's way too like orangey or yellowy or something i just need something that doesn't do that so i do still want to look for another powder i need basically everything i need a new powder a new um, foundation so you can kind of see it's coming together a bit more um, and I do not like to do the baking thing so we're not going to be doing that but literally just pressing it in to set that concealer Okay, so now we're going to make our eyes look pretty. I'm just using this NYX Inked Epic Liner Pen to just go over my lash band with 
quite emphasis because I just want it to make my eyes look bigger and that's what I like to do so and it's quick you don't have to worry about doing a wing blah 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 so let's do it so I like to make this quite high and just make my eyes pop a bit more. You can already see the difference between this eye and this eye, and I'm not even finished yet, so. <laughs> if you're doing something and you need to be really, really quick, this is a great makeup look to do. And equally, if you're new to doing your makeup and you just want something that is really easy, then this is also a great um, makeup routine because it's so easy and quick. It's really, really quick to do. Okay, so that's my eyeliner done. And you can really see it just makes a big difference to the eyes, to my eyes. And should we do eyeliner? No, I'm not going to do eyeliner today. I'm not going to do eyeliner today. Okay, so now we're going to do some contour and I'm going to use my Maybelline City Bronzer. Let me just show you what this looks like. Let me just show you what this looks like. So it's just this really nice brown shade and I'm going to contour my nosy. So I do the top of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and I just bring it up to my brow bone just to kind of tie that in together. I think it just makes it more prominent here, makes it a bit sharper. And I just like the look that it gives when there's some more definition here to this brow bone. I think it looks really, really nice. So that's what I do. I don't bring it down the whole of my nose. So now I'm going to go to the end and we're going to do just a tiny, a tiny bit to the bottom of, to the tip of my nose. I guess I'm just making it seem more shadowy underneath. So this is what I like to do to the bottom of my nosey. And that's my nose contour done. <laughs> I do sometimes blend it out, but I really haven't done much today, so I don't really need to blend that much. So now we're going to, so now I just want to set my nose with this It Cosmetics because I don't want it to go anywhere. So I'm just taking a tiny bit on the same sponge that I used and I'm going to put that on my nose. And we're going to set that and also some of the under eye areas that we've set already. I'll be back when my bottom lashes are long and wispy. <laughs> so lashes done and now I'm going to do some contouring again with this same Maybelline City Bronzer. And just give myself some definition and put some, put some colour back in my face, you know. <laughs> I have a few events coming up and I told you guys to actually book some what well, I recommended or suggested that you actually start doing events and wine tastings etc and that is what I'm doing so I have a very pricey actually wine tasting but I'm going to I think it's next week so I'm looking forward to that and also I have some other stuff going on as well, which right now I actually can't remember. So I'm looking forward to these events and I've really been enjoying doing these kinds of things. Now I'm going to open my new Studio London brush. Now this is actually a finishing brush, but I'm using it as a blush brush because I like the shape of it for my blusher. So I'm actually going to use this pink. I think I'm going to use these two for my blusher. So have you girls been doing any events? 
I would love to know if you have and if you've enjoyed doing them because I personally am loving the events right now. I'm loving going and I just think it's really, really fun. <laughs> I've put on way too much blush on. Okay, let's do the other side. Make myself look like a clown on both sides of my face, not just one side. No. Okay, this is angry blusher time. You know when you're mad that you messed up the other side and so you have to mess up this side as well <laughs> to match it. Hmm. Definitely done it different on both sides. Okay, I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to take a bit of concealer and we're going to make it so that that never happened. Simply by erasing it with concealer. I'm only putting more on this side so it matches the brightness and it doesn't look weird. But you can kind of see that the you can kind of see that now the concealer has calmed down a little bit and it's not as bright at all. Now I'm just adding more blush because I can't stop adding blush. I would actually say I have a blusher, like an obsession with blusher, I would say. I think I actually do. Um, oh, I just love it. I actually love it. For my highlight, I'm using a Pat McGrath um, Celestial Eyeshadow. And it's just this gold, bronzy gold thingy. And I'm just giving that a once over. And I like to get my actual cheeks, the balls of my cheeks, so that the light goes on it. And it just makes them look bigger, look fuller, which is what I'm all about. <laughs> Whatever's going to make my cheeks look bigger, I want to do it. So that's the step I like to do. So now I'm taking this. This, please just, just ignore this. This was my bay, as you can see, and now it's now bay died. So now I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone with that light shade. I don't like to use a highlighter to do this. I prefer to use a matte shadow. So that's what I'm going to do. And it just helps to make it not look as weird because you don't have anything on your actual lids. But it still helps to tie everything in together. It also makes your makeup look more clean and sharp so this is kind of a crucial step for me I would say Ooh. Ooh. so now I've just wiped off my lip gloss that I had moisturizing my lips and I'm going to use this now this is my NYX Coco, and I do need a new one, I really do, I need a new one. Do you have a brown liner suggestion for me? I am actually the overliner, I'm that girl. So I like to have my lips seriously overlined. So that's what I'm going to be doing. You see this ridge that I have? I go either, no, I, I go over it. I go over the ridge. Okay, so now I think I'm going to use, hmm, should I do something pinky or what, what are we thinking? I think, 
I have two different pink options. So I have Morphe, which is TTYL. This is a crayon and that's the color of it. I'm thinking this one or NYX Brunch Me, which is this really pretty shade. This is a matte color. So, I mean, I'm not too sure. Let's do Brunch Me and then we'll see how we feel about it. Hmm. Ooh. I'm liking this. I haven't used this in a very long time. So, ooh. <laughs> Maybe it looks a tiny bit crazy. Um, what are we thinking? Should we just put some gloss over this and call it a day? No, I think I have an idea. So I have a few more few lipstick selections here. So I think I'm going to go with Court, which is this brown shade, to just tone down this bright peach. Or Kissy Face, which is also another bright colour, so... I don't think that's going to work for me right now. And then we have Babe, which is a brown shade. Should we use Babe, actually, to kind of calm this down a tiny bit? Let's see what Babe does. Mm, that's better, yeah. Ooh. yeah that's a lot better and I'm going to I love the babe shade actually because it's satin so it actually moisturizes your lips and you don't need lip gloss when you use those ones but I'm just going to go around and go over my lip liner because we lost some of the potency I'm thinking a gloss and I'm going to go with this pinky sparkly shade. This is a Morphe lip gloss in, oh, Happy Glaze lip gloss. It's super pretty, it's two-toned. Let me swatch that for you so you can see how pretty this actually is. How pretty is that? Super, super pretty, right? So let's use a tiny bit of that on my lips, even though I don't need it because it's a setting gloss. Ooh, yeah. What do you guys think? Are you liking the gloss? I'm loving it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I love that. Let's wipe this off my hand. And I'm just and I just want to go over my entire face with some of this just to make sure that it's not deciding to disrespect me and start going off places because if I was really going out then this is what I would be doing and I also set my brows as well with that. I just want to show you what I would really be doing if I was going somewhere. And now I'm going to add a tiny bit more blusher but I'm going to do the bronze the bronzer actually just to add a little bit and give me some more more definition and like I said I'm obsessed with blusher I, oh, honestly 
I always add more. So that's what I've done. Going to add a tiny bit of whatever residue there is on at the end on to my nose and just go over that a tiny bit as well. What we did earlier on with the bronzer here. So basically you just do everything times five. <laughs> if I was going out somewhere and not just doing a video, I would definitely be spraying my face and I'm going to spray it because why not? I'll show you how I do it. And this is a complete necessity for me. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte and I would say that it works really, really well, to be honest. In conjunction with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and this, I would say that they really, really make your makeup stay on for a long period of time. So you have to shake this bottle to capacity to make sure that you don't have those white specks on your face. Just making sure that <laughs> my lipstick doesn't go on my teeth. Okay. That's it for me makeup wise. Let's add some earrings just to make this look like something for the beginning of this video. <laughs> I'm going to add these. These earrings are from Lovisa if anybody is interested just to um, give it something, you know. Although, do these earrings even go with this? I don't think so. If this is the end of my get ready with me thank you so much for watching i hope that you like seeing me getting you know all glammed up and doing everything step by step and you can see what my routine is from start to finish when i am doing a really really fast makeup look i don't want to take forever getting ready this is what i do every time but i just do different lipstick lip <laughs> lip stick combinations that's the only thing that i change really when i do my makeup these days i hope that you ladies enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next video